Welcome back to Living Room Sports here on KDK TV, having fun with Max Talbot and Colby Armstrong. Now it's time to pick a side, and I'll start with you, Max, on this one. Would you rather have bionic arms or bionic legs, Max? Uh, bionic arms, if I can say. Yeah, because I've been working on mine, like, oh. you know? so. <laughs> A cheap, cheap ability to show, and, you know, here we go, waiting for that chance. You, you hit a home run, but, Colby. But, you know, because now we're not hockey players anymore. You got, you kind of, I do two <laughs> upper body days and one lower body, so the answer is right there. Yeah, so I'm going to go bionic legs. Don't skip leg day, Max. It's an obvious fact. <laughs> like, come on, buddy. Got those little stick legs, probably, but... I would go that just because it just looks so much better when you got the legs. Obviously, the butt's coming with it, right? Like you're gonna get a bionic butt too. So you're gonna just be, you're just gonna be looking good. You're gonna be looking good in jeans. You gotta look good in jeans. All right. So you guys are both fathers now. What smells worse, baby diapers or hockey gear? I've been in those locker rooms and I smell baby diapers. I don't even know if I can answer this. Yeah, I well, was baby diapers like a million times. You know, hockey gear is. You know, I, you take care of it. It's it's something you're used to, like baby diapers. Just, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I uh, and I will say this: I'll I'll agree with Max. I'll say baby diapers, and the reason is just what he said. Like you get used to the smell of hockey equipment. You can walk into a room and you don't even smell it. And you're with someone that's not used to, it and they go, "Oh, it reeks in here." Yeah. And you're like, "No, no, it's not bad." But I'm telling you, you'll never get used to a disgusting baby diaper. <laughs> you're not get. You're, I don't think you ever get used to that. <laughs> All right, so if you were forced now to choose one kind of music for the rest of your life, Max, and these are your choices, classical or techno, which would you choose? Oh, uh, I, I think you would have gave me any choice, I would have picked classical. Uh, that's what we listen when we wake up, and uh, I think it's calming for the kids, and it's, uh, yeah, by, uh, by Mal, uh, classical music. I would probably prefer that as well right now. If you asked me 10 years ago, I would say techno 100%, like just ripping up techno, just raving, yeah. you know? <laughs> but now, now that I have four kids, I appreciate the quietness and the peacefulness of some classical music around. Yeah, I don't know if those guys in that commercial would say classical music, yeah, that's no. for sure. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start with Max on this one. Penguins or Flyers? Oh, come on. <laughs> Penguins all the way. It's, uh... I mean, it's it's an easy answer for me because of you know the the love I had for the Penguins and you know uh, you know just going back there it's it's such a, a special place. Yeah, Battle of Pennsylvania. You're obviously going with the Penguins. All right, Colby, we'll start with you. If you were a pro wrestler, I know you guys watch WWE. I used to watch a lot of it. Would you rather be the um, the villain or the hero? I think the, the villain, what do they call them? The heel? The heel is a wrestling heel, term, yeah. right? The bad guy? Yeah. I think the bad guy, uh, for me, seems a lot more appealing and a lot more fun of a character to be. I I would say that the good guy. You know, it'd be good. We, we could wrestle Colby. I think it'd be a good, uh, good matchup. So what's more important, a pregame nap or your kids taking a nap? Both at the same time. Oh, <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> geez. I love the pregame nap. Big pregame nap guy. I, I don't do it anymore. I kind of, I don't know what it is, but I, I, just, I love to take in the afternoon nap. I'm a big passion about it. You know what? If my kids don't take naps anymore, I just, I found a really like an amazing way, like most parents, just completely block out their screams and their cries. I can just completely go to a different world in my head and I don't hear it. Wow, I got, amazing! I got, you gotta, you, you gotta tell me that trick. <laughs> but I, <laughs> I'm lucky enough that my kids are still napping. They're they're napping at the moment, so I'm very uh, fortunate that we still have an hour, an hour and a half of freedom. The wife and I. All right, I want on, honest answers on this one, Colby. Start with you. You both, long time in the NHL, have great moments. Do you force your kids to watch highlights of you as an NHL player, Colby? Yeah, I do. I do. And there was a game on NBC showed it, I think. It was like a flashback game that I think the first time like Ovi and Sid played, which was the big selling feature of watching the game. But if you're in my house, it's come watch me. Come watch my shit. Look at that. Look at, look at this. Oh, look at, look at this. Oh, dad, you fell down. You got knocked down. So it's, I, I, I find it pretty entertaining. I don't know if they do, but I like it. <laughs> I, uh, I did when my son was younger, thinking that he was going to love hockey. And I'm like, hey, you know, this is daddy, this is daddy, look. 
uh, and then just to realize that he doesn't really care and he's like, ah, you know, uh, I don't force him yet. Uh, I, I like more to show my wife skating to my kids. Okay. All right, so what's a better nickname? Arm Dog or Superstar? For me? Okay, I'll say, uh, I'll say Arm Dog, just because it's, uh, it's more normal. Superstar does not fit me at all. I think we can all agree. Yeah, and, and arm dog doesn't fit with me. <laughs> 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 Chicka, tea, tea. <laughs>